All right, so this is 2018, paper two. As usual, expect an exam question which looks like this. If you're writing, this is it on probability. So the question came in 2018 GCE and it reads, 13 cubes of the same size numbered one to 13 are placed in a bag, okay? If two cubes drawn at random from the bag, one after the other and not replaced, what is the probability that both cubes are odd numbers? So um, it's very important to gather your data. I always uh, emphasize on this. So you need to understand and gather your data nicely. So they are saying these are numbers from one to 13. So you can list them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13 right there, okay? So now, out of these numbers, you have to know odd numbers and what even numbers, okay? So I'll start with the odd numbers. So odd numbers, are numbers that a two cannot go in without leaving any remainder. So this is an odd number, an odd number, an odd number, odd number, odd number. The ones I've circled are odd numbers. So I can list them. I've got a one comma three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and a 13 right there. Okay, so for even numbers, I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. So these are the numbers. So I can, I can make my tree diagram. So this is for even numbers, and this one's for odd numbers. Here, even, odd, even, and odd right, right here. So... What am I going to do now? I know that the total number of these numbers, all of them, they are what? Eh? They are 13. So my denominator will be a 13. Here, my denominator will be a 12. It will be reduced by 1. 12. 12. And that 12, it will be reduced by 1. So this one reduced by 1. So now I come to the even numbers. So how many are they even numbers here? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six. Odd numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven, okay? So we are done with the first round. Second round, I'll just check if this is E and E, meaning the top number here will reduce. So I have five, okay? Here E, O, it's different. It won't reduce. I'll get the original number for, for, for O. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is seven. Here, different, meaning I'll get the original number for E, which is 6. Here, here they are the same. I need to reduce it O, okay, which it was 7, so I need to reduce by 1. It will be 6. So I'm done with my tree diagram. So here, once I'm done with this, to find odd, it's here, odd, odd. Here, the probability here, odd, odd. So it will be odd, odd, will be equal to so probability of getting odd, odd, it will be equal to 7 over 13 times 6 over 12, okay? Which, uh, which is giving me, so when I punch on my calculator, 7 times 6 is uh, 42, 13 times uh, 12 is what? Is 160, uh, sorry, 13 times 12 is one, 150, 56, 156, okay? of which it can be reduced to, to 7 over 26. So this is my answer for question 1. So question 2, only one is even. So meaning we're getting the, 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 the other one. Only one is even. This is how it will look like. We will we'll go to even, or this is even, right here, even, Odd, uh, odd, even. So we need these two probabilities and add them. That's our answer. So it will be probability of even 
and odd plus probability of odd and even. So this one, probability of odd, uh, even and odd, it will be 30, uh, 6 over 13 times here 7 over 12, or here it's 7 over 12 plus, or here it's 7 over 13 times E, here it's 6 over 12. So you just work out here, well, 42 over 156, okay? Yes, plus 42 over 156. So what are we getting here when we work out things? We are getting a... Uh, we are getting a... Uh, we are getting a 7 over 13. 7 over 13. Okay, so when you work out things there, your answer will be 7 over 13. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, follow my works. Bye-bye.